solve for x open bracket 3x close bracket times square root of x equal to 81 so this question it is under exponential equations to be specific it is coming from the unknown base problem we know that exponential equations are classified into two we have uh, a non power problem and a non base problem. So, this is the best we are asked to look for. So, it is a non base problem. When you are asked to look for the power, it is a non power problem. So, for the unknown base problem, we have to balance the powers by using this rule n to the power a equal to m to the power a. So once the bases are equal like that, then we can make the conclusion to say that n is equal to m. This is what is required to do. So we need to balance the powers. So this equation will be 3x times. So we shall convert square root, square root of x into power, where square root is equivalent to power half. So x to the power half equal to 81. So this equation will be 3 open brackets x to the power this one since we are dealing with powers. So this x it is less to power 1 which is invisible. Now we have to show it times x to the power half plus which is equal to 81. At this stage, we have to apply this another rule from the rows of indices. x to the power n times x to the power m. Same basis, we add the powers. So it will be x to the power n plus c m. So this is what we are supposed to do here, which is going to be 3, open bracket, we light, 1 base, then we add the powers 1 plus e, half, cross, equal to 81. So now, what is 1 plus half? So 1 plus half, this will be... We have to balance the equation and we look for the common denominator, which is 2. So two in, 1 into 2, it's C. 2, 2 times 1, it's 2. Plus 2 into 2, it's 1. 1 times 1, it's 1. So 2 plus 1, it's C. 3 over 2. So the equation will be 3, open bracket, x to the power 3 over 2, cross equal to Eight, one. So now at this stage, we have to divide the coefficient to both sides of the equation, which is 3. So we cancel 3 to the left hand side. So we are going to have x to the power 3 over 2. Which is equal to 3 into 8, 1. So 3 into 8, 1, this will give us 27. So now at this stage, we have to multiply. The reciprocal of 3 over 2 to both sides of the equation. And the reciprocal of 3 over 2 is C. 2 over 3. Reciprocal is the number that we can multiply to this 3 over 2 to give us the product of 1. To give us the product of 1. So now we have to multiply this reciprocal to both sides of the equation. Which is going to be x to the power 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 equal to 
27 to the power 2 over 3. We have to multiply the reciprocal to both sides of the equation. So now the essence of doing that, we shall remain with 1 here, which is going to be x to the power 1 equal to. Then on this other side, we are going to apply this law of indices, which states that a to the power m over n is equivalent to open bracket square root of a then n should go on the root m as a power so we have to apply that true here so which is going to be open bracket square root of 27 then 3 will go on the root then 2 as a power which means we are looking for the cube root of 27 cube root of 27 let me just create space here. Okay, so now x will be equal to... So the cube root of 27 is the number we can multiply 3 times to give us 27. And this number is 3. Then power 2. So x equal to 3 power 2, which is 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So this is the value of x, which is 9. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Mringa E. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as to share my video. Thank you.